Alpha Dogfight Trials viewer. Uh, and while we do that, um, what a great setup they've been able to set up. Before we start and before we give controls over to Banger to get this fight started off, any predictions, Glock, on what you've seen? I think that this is going to be a really close fight. I think Banger is going to do a fantastic job. And that at the end of the day, what we're going to see is that there was a credible AI agent out of Heron Systems, parts and pieces of which would be able to be lifted out into the real world and things that Banger would be happy to have on his airplane or flying in that airplane next to him. So if you're looking at the left side of the screen, you've got the score on the top, all the things that Glock talked about. You've got a great God's eye view of those that 3-9 pass that we're going to get ready to do. In the upper right-hand corner, we've got the initial conditions. In the lower right-hand portion of the screen, you are in Banger's F-16, fighting alongside of him. You can see his view. You can see off uh, basically at probably the 11 o'clock position, you can see a reticle around the, the enemy aircraft to, to let them know uh, where he is. And you can see him uh, getting a tally right there uh, right now. So um, I can't wait for this fight. We've talked long enough. It's the main event, Alpha Dogfight Trials. Banger, I'm going to turn it over to you. Human versus AI, fights on. Let's go. Thanks for that. Uh, with that, we'll get ready to go. You can see that red, yellow, green. And when it hits green, the fight fights on, is fights on. Fights on. These initial conditions, you can see that range opening up. Banger aggressively maneuvering nose low, looking to collapse that range as quickly as he can. 6,000, 5,000, he's going to continue that turn. And watch as he stays outside of that nose as much as possible. Look at that. Zero damage to Banger through that initial merge, something we did not see almost any of the AI agents able to do. And now it's going to be a matter of controlling that range. There'll be another opportunity as they come back around, that range separation opening back up. It's going to be very difficult to stay out of the way of that nose Ooh, there. A little hit there by uh, Just a took a little bit. Hit. Absolutely. As this fight's going now downhill, vertical down, you see each of them really rolling that airplane and going aggressively downhill, passing now down through 10,000 feet, fighting this very aggressive two-circle fight. And you can see there's Heron with that really amazing fine motor control for that uh, gunshot in a very, very close range, very high heading crossing, a very high close range. So we range. got a vertical fight. You can see uh, in the lower right-hand corner, Banger coming in over the top, trying to avoid that merge, uh, getting hit once again, um, very close to running out of aircraft health in this first uh, first setup. Aggressive nose low maneuvers. Um, Heron sticking with them, though. That's right. Heron doing a nice job, and they've managed to get back to a good control position there, and they're going to score the first victory of the setup today. Um, really amazing, um, you know, simulation environment that uh, the team here at APL has been able to create. Uh, you're joining us live in the Alpha uh, Dogfight Trials. This is the main event. Uh, Heron, our ADD champion, versus our F-16 weapon instructor course pilot, Banger. Uh, it's 1-0, and Banger's getting set up for the next round. So some things for us to think about as we start this next fight, that aggressive vertical down maneuvering. It was good at collapsing that initial range, but it was able to open back up and let Heron get a chance to produce uh, that very impressive gun mech that they have. We'll see now if Banger's able to tighten this turn up, able to stay inside of a few thousand feet driving back towards the control zone. You Lag maneuver there. A beautiful roll inverted back towards Heron 6 o'clock. That's going to do a good job of trying to align those uh, turn circles, align those ribbons. A little bit better and you see the two of them now moving to a single circle fight type of engagement at 5,000 feet passing through heron with a chance to put that lethal gun cone on and banger maneuvering to get out of the way a little bit of a heron, gun's d and heron now potentially overshooting we'll see if banger's able to capitalize as that range is opening back up so in the mid very smooth control inputs if you look at both of these of, of these aircraft, both Bangers and Herons, you're seeing very smooth control inputs, very deliberate maneuvering Ooh. as they go through here now with Heron scoring that second kill of the day. This fight now setting up lower in altitude, about 7,000 feet, about 400 knots. Both of these jets are going to have a lot of energy, a lot of options available to them as to which direction they turn, and then also whether they want to exploit vertical going up 
or vertical going down. And once again, if you're joining us, you want look in the lower right hand corner, you can see sort of a stoplight, red, yellow, green. And that's when we know that the, the fight's getting ready to kick off. That's banger in the VR setup, really driving that engagement. Uh, neutral conditions, uh, about 2,500 feet separation. Uh, what's the airspeed we're looking at there? 400 uh, knots. So they're, they're going pretty quickly here. We'll see as Heron does that kind of up and away pitch, looking for an opportunity to get that nose around. Banger digging low into the inside to try to stay outside of that nose cone. Little hits there, coming through the merge, surviving that merge barely. Uh, let's see if he can saddle up. Uh, aggressive over the top maneuver. Uh, looks like he's got a, maybe perhaps a positional advantage now. It's going to be challenging though that range if it opens up out there that five, six, seven thousand feet. But he survives. Heron going to use any of that range available to try to get their nose on and be able to get that gunshot I mean, that they are so very good at. Close down to the deck, uh, guns almost looking like a oh, aggressive nose move up, able to avoid the gun uh, shot there by Heron. Um, That's right. I think what you're seeing here is a shift in tactics from Banger. I think you're seeing him look to see if he can maneuver to get this adversary down to the floor. Can he scrape them off? on that thousand foot hard deck. And we certainly saw some of that in the semifinals, uh, a couple of teams uh, falling victim to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the deck, which has got a piece of K of one. And this setup now gonna be even closer. They're looking at 3000 feet or so. So really lower altitude is gonna be starting out very, very close to that Let's hard see deck. how uh, Banger changes up his game plan. Really exciting fight. Um, Heron proving to be lethal, uh, excellent pointing ability with the gun. Uh, inside 3,000 feet. Banger uh, mixing some stuff up. Um, typically have gone nose low, uh, yep. trying to raid around on, on Heron um, while avoiding that um, head-on pass that, that has proved to be so lethal. Yep, and I take it back this set up in the low teens, so 13 or so thousand feet. Plenty of op options available to both of the aircraft here. As we see that range opening up, 4,000, 5,000 feet, expecting to see Heron as they have turn and probably put that nose on as best as they can, see if they can score some points in that high aspect gunshot. Really a, 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 a gunshot that is, is almost impossible. It is, it is almost definitively that superhuman capability that we talk about out of the AI to be able to aim that accurately and to be able to do it in such a dynamic situation. Another quick kill by uh, Heron uh, for nothing. Uh, in terms of Aaron versus Banger, uh, heading into the final final event here, the final uh, matchup. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know if we were able to talk to Banger. Uh, Banger, are you up? Yeah, I'm up. Um, how are you feeling right now? Uh, are Are you thinking about mixing stuff up for this last run? Yeah, you know the the kind of the standard things that we do as fighter pilots are not working, right? So for this last one, I'll try to change it up a little bit, um, just to see if we can do something different. Um, you know, that initial turn is what's getting it, uh, where I lose a lot of life there. So still not able to fully avoid the Wes, uh, you know, with these initial starting parameters, it makes it that separation out to 8,000 feet is, uh, probably going to happen 7,000, 8,000 feet. So I just got to look to opportunities to minimize that distance separation away from the adversary, try to get him back in so I can press inside or stay outside of his, uh, his kind of nose area there. So we'll try to do something a little bit different on this last one and we'll have fun no matter what happens. All right. Thanks, Banger. Over to you. Banger's comments there, I think very telling as to just how far Heron Systems has come. We're doing the normal fighter pilot things here from the human side, and we're seeing that Heron is able to handle them very consistently. And that's just really impressive to have, to have done in, in just a one year type of timeline. Yeah, truly impressive. Uh, and it's, and it's while the score doesn't indicate that, uh, you know, it's been a great fight. Um, really difficult to uh, get outside of that, um, uh, emerge and, and, uh, and, uh, have Heron, um, you know, not, not kill you on that first merge. So, um, but Banger Banger does exactly that here. He survives through that first merge and is maneuvering now in this descending fight, 2000 feet, right where he wants to be as they're continuing this spiraling descent down there towards the floor. Let's see if he can stay behind Heron, uh, and not spill out in front a little bit of a reversal there. The energy is just so important here as you think about it between the two airplanes. Where are they on that sliding scale? We're seeing 300, 400 knots, a lot of energy on both of those jets. 
They're descending down quickly, 5,000 feet. They're going to be approaching that floor very soon. They're going to have to adjust their lift vector, adjust where they're flying, and we'll see how they're able to preserve that energy and what they choose to do with it once they get down there to that floor. Yeah, uh, Banger really wrapping it up. Nine Gs trying to extend outside that 3,000 foot zone. Get away from, uh, you know, Heron, who's been pretty lethal with the gun. Uh, looking to find some way uh, to uh, get behind Heron without getting shot getting there. And getting right down to the floor. Banger down at 1,300 feet. He's going to really make Heron prove that they can do this gunshot at the floor. One of the most difficult things you can do in airborne execution in an F-16. We'll see if the AI is able to hack it. Like that. And this tactic seems to be working for Banger. If you take a look at it, Heron is really having a hard time getting that gun nose on and getting uh, damage against Banger's aircraft down there this low to the ground. So pretty good closure right now. High aspect shot there. Uh, Banger going to the vertical. Just amazing. This is really aggressive maneuvering. If you look at the G meters in real world, we're talking nine Gs, really physically demanding, 500 knots. You're talking about flying around in the air greater than 500 miles an hour and trying to do these very fine motor skill controls uh, against another aircraft. Absolutely impressive work here, both out of Banger and out of our Heron agent, not struggling down there at the floor as we saw some of our other agents earlier today. Uh, having to deal with just inside of 3,000 feet looks like he's uh heron saddling up and with the kill and again more of just that superhuman aiming ability that we're seeing out of heron in this simulated environment able to just follow that other airplane along even through defensive types of maneuvers absolutely amazing uh if you're joining us we've just wrapped up the human versus ai uh finals where uh banger uh went up against heron systems our adt champion in five neutral sets and um, really a great series set of fights. But, you know, if we, you rewind a year and look where we're at now, um, you know, I think that the program has really achieved uh, great success.